Hey everybody, it's Kyle Coffey from Motor Physical Therapy and Performance. I'm here with Andy from Soul PT. And uh, I just wanted to take a moment to talk about some of the things we're going to go over in our blood flow restriction training course that we're holding here in August. Um, first and foremost, uh, I think it's important in, in the rehab setting to individualize the pressures more so than if you were just in a strength training scenario. So one way that we can do that is utilize a simple uh, Doppler ultrasound. These units are very easy to come by. Um, very cheap. This one's roughly around $100 on average. Um, and we utilize this with the cuff on it, which we'll demonstrate in a second, to find the limb occlusion pressure, which is a really individualized pressure for um, when um, blood flow will stop going through. Remember, blood flow restriction training is not occlusion training, it's um, restricting um, some of the venous return. So we really want to make sure that we're still having some arterial blood flow. So uh, what we can do is um, simple. I've already put some um, ultrasound gel on Andy's uh, arm here. We're going to look at the uh, radial artery. Um, you can also look at the brachial artery if you wanted to in the upper extremity, depending on the, on the individual. Um, but when we turn this on and turn the volume on, I hope this comes through on the video, but you can um, start to hear right there um, with the Doppler ultrasound that we're hearing um, the blood flow. And so I'm going to have Andy, or I would have the patient do this, start pumping up um, the cuff band. And then you start to hear it go away. And so then I would have the, the person start to deflate it slowly and start to hear when the blood flow starts to come back. So that, for Andy on his right arm, is roughly around 400, um, maybe a little bit lower. Um, so you can go ahead and release that Andy. So I would have someone check this every time someone comes in if they're going to use blood flow restriction training. It can change day to day depending on the person's hydration and a couple of other factors. And I would always check arm to arm, leg to leg because one arm um, might be a little bit different than the other arm. So um, again, use Doppler ultrasound if you're doing blood flow um, restriction training to really individualize that pressure. Um, you can go by based what the research says. Um, for upper extremity, it's 40% um, of the limb occlusion pressure or the LOP, and for the lower extremity, it's 80%. Hope you enjoyed that. Again, Kyle Coffey from Modus Physical Therapy, Andy from Soul PT. We'll see you in August for the course. Thanks, guys.